I grew up in Toronto, Canada with the normal family. I've always just took a liking to sports and in high school I played everything from basketball, volleyball, badminton. I know it sounds nerdy, but badminton. And I was voted athlete of the year twice in high school and that meant a lot to me because I love getting physical. My sister is three years older than me and we're complete opposites. A lot of the time we say a guy tries to hit on me and they'll say, oh, do you have a sister if I'm taken or whatever the case may be. I'll say yes, but don't expect someone like me. She's the musical talent and I've always been athletic. It's so weird because my parents growing up are traditional, but the things that normally parents wouldn't let you do, they let me do. And the things that you think that you can just do because it's nothing, they wouldn't let me do. I did have a lot of piercings. I have my belly piercing now, still to this day. I had my tongue pierced at one time. I had it for a couple of years, and then when I started wrestling, I took it out just in case. But I actually have swallowed a piercing twice. So I don't know what happened to it. I don't know what happened, so that's the end of that. I grew up as a fan of professional wrestling. In my early 20s, I became obsessed with wrestling again. <laughs> I mean, I couldn't miss any night of wrestling. My first day of wrestling school, it was so scary because I thought I was gonna be entering a room full of bodybuilders, and actually the first person I met was Tracy Brooks, who works with me now. And she was so welcoming, so nice, and she made me feel comfortable from day one. We've just always gotten along. We're both from Toronto, we both bartended forever, we both got into wrestling, we both have a love for it. So we have a lot of things in common, so why wouldn't we get along? My signing of TNA came about. Scott DeMar called me and he said, you know, that they wanted to start looking towards the women's division. And if I can help start it, I would love to be a part of something like that. We've got four girls now, so hopefully people will start seeing more matches. I've actually run into some people from high school and from university college, and a lot of people are just very supportive and they think it's so cool that I'm a wrestler and that I'm fulfilling my dream and you know I actually left in the middle of university to pursue this wrestling career and I followed my dream and I made it and a lot of people admire that. For the knockout DVD photo shoot, clothes are really small. But I think that's normal for me because <laughs> everyone says either my clothes are tight or fitting, short or bearing. So uh, that pretty much sums up all the outfits that I had. I think my favorite part of the day of the knockout DVD shoot was when all three of us girls got to dress up in camouflage. And we went to a Jeep and we just had so much fun. Those are the best pictures when you kind of catch it in the moment and of us just laughing and just having a good time. So that was my favorite part of the day. For me, sexy is being comfortable and still looking good at the same time. So for me, the sexiest outfit I have in my closet would probably be just like athletic running shorts and a tank top, you know, because you're bearing a little bit, but you're, I'm myself and that's me. I'm just at home in my workout clothes and just very comfortable. I do like to walk around naked in my house because there's no uh, windows really to look out to the outside. So yes, I like to cook naked and do my chores naked. And that's enough about that. My most embarrassing moment in TNA so far, I mean, I haven't been here that long, so hopefully <laughs> there wasn't too many. I would say one, I was coming down the ramp with Jeff and I was wearing a little, it was still a skirt, which is shorts built into the skirt. But because it was so short, when I went to come down to my side, it kind of, the front of it just went straight up and I tried to put my hand there to cover it, but I don't know how much of it it actually covered. The perfect man for me must have a great sense of humor because you can be a nerd or you can be whatever, but if you can make me laugh, I love that. When my wrestling career comes to an end, I would love for all my fans to remember that I absolutely love them and 
that I will always be grateful and thankful for all the support they've given me and that um, I would just always like them to remember me as a wrestler and someone who worked hard in the ring and hopefully produced some good women's matches. Hey everyone, this is Gail Kim, and what you're about to see next is me in my first movie role, Princess. I play an assassin, my dream role. So hopefully everyone will get to check it out in 2007. Are you ready? 